In this video, you're going to learn how to copy and paste both numeric data in the form of a table and a graph that you've created from that data out of Microsoft Excel into your lab report, which you should be editing in a Google Docs. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's an Excel sheet, which is showing some data that you've been collecting in the lab. And here's a graph that you've been working on and you wanna submit this numeric data because these are your raw results and you wanna definitely copy and paste over this graph into the results of your lab report. So let's start with the graph first, since it's pretty easy. In Microsoft Excel, once you have a graph, if you just left click anywhere inside that graph, you'll see that a line with some little white circles has appeared around the perimeter. This means that the graph is selected. All I have to do is right click and copy that graph, and it's now ready to go into your Google Docs. So I'll open up a Google Docs here. Now here you and your lab teammates have been co-editing a lab report that you're gonna hand in. You've been writing it, you know exactly where the graph should go, you know where the data should go, so you've got a spot that says the graph should go here. You can do it one of two ways. You can always just hit Control V and boom, there goes the graph input as a picture. Or if you have, for example, the Google Chrome extension put in, you can right click and say paste as well. This inputs the graph as a figure or picture image in the exact same way. It's nice to do an image of your graph because it looks exactly like it looks in Excel. And also you can kind of drag it around, you can center it, you can stretch it and make it the way that you want and put it exactly where you want. So what you should do is spend a lot of time in Excel making a very beautiful, accurate graph and then copy it and paste it into your lab report as an image and it'll look just like that. Now the numeric data for your raw data result section is going to look a little bit different. So let's take a look at that. We'll go back to Excel. I'll click somewhere else so none of this stuff is selected. Here's all the data that I want to copy over into the lab report. What you cannot do is take a screen capture of this and input it into the report. All right, so you might be tempted to do something like hitting print screen, going back over here, and then I can just paste this into the report. There's the data you might want. You might be thinking you can just crop it and put it in there, something like that, and then just stretching it out. This is not allowed. Okay, you cannot do this because this is just an image or picture of your data. You need to import it as numeric text that the machines can actually read. So let me show you how to do that. Do not do what I just showed you. That will be uh, graded as incorrect if you try to submit that. So in your Excel sheet, it's actually very easy. You take your cursor and you highlight all the data that you want to copy over. Note, it's got really nice, clear column headings for each of the columns. You're going to want to make sure you label every column. Don't just turn in columns of numbers. Your GA or TA is not gonna know what those numbers mean and you're gonna get marked down because that data is unclear. So I'm selecting something that says, in this case, height in meters, air pressure. It's all selected. Once it's all highlighted, it's in a gray box. I'm gonna right click and say copy. Now it's copied to the clipboard. Go back to your Google Docs, same thing. Just do a Control V or a right click paste if you have the Chrome extension in and boom, there is your table. Now, that table is in there, but it looks really, really ugly, okay? Do not turn in something like this either or you're gonna get marked down again. It is very hard to read. It breaks across multiple pages. This is just not a good way to construct a lab report. So here's how you can make this look really, really nice. I'm just gonna take my cursor, highlight all of the table. There it is. Up here, there's a button called table options. When you hit that table options, you'll get these table properties here. And I first thing I wanna do is I wanna add some color to the table borders. So it's defaulting to white. So I'll make it black and you can't be zero point, it's gotta be like one point. Ah, now it starts to look like a table. It's starting to get there, isn't it? This actually looks pretty good. But it's still breaking across pages. That's kind of unfortunate. So let me select the whole thing here. It's defaulting to 14 point. You don't need it that big. Let's make it smaller, 12 point, 11 point, 10 point. There we go. Now that is a table. It's starting to look good. It's all on one page. That's not too bad. You've got a lot of empty space here. Click on this drag that over, that looks much nicer. Click on this, drag it over, that looks much nicer. 
don't just take the default settings. Work with your presentation because you're going to be graded on that. Make it look kind of nice. Does it all have to be white? It doesn't have to be. Maybe these two cells right here, you want to be a slightly different color so people know that's actually you know the heading of something. Maybe you want your columns to be different colors as well just so the graders can kind of tell them easily apart. You could do something like that, all right? You don't just always have to hand in the default settings. But the cool thing about doing it this way is see these numbers, these are actually numeric characters. So here was 19, maybe you made a mistake, now you can make it 20. This one is 25.2, maybe I wanna make it 50. These are numeric character texts. This is what you have to be handing in for the lab report. You cannot take pictures with your phone. You can't take screen grabs. The GAs and TAs are going to want to see these tables of actual data in your Google Docs, which you will then be converting to a PDF and uploading as your lab report. So I hope that helps a lot. It's actually a very straightforward process. Hope you enjoyed that. Good luck on your report.